Good evening, everyone. I am Batman. Today, we're going to be reviewing two new specials from the SpongeBob SquarePants franchise. A franchise which has been going down in quality ever since the movie's release in 2004. Although, coincidentally, a little before my film, Batman Begins, came out. Today's episodes, Don't Look Now, and Cien Shamans. Now, <coughs> okay, oh, 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 God, ah. I, I can't, I can't do it like that, oh, ah. oh, man. Oh, yeah, it would have been hard doing that Christian Bale Batman voice the entire time. And, and yeah, I can't do it. I'm Batman. <laughs> okay, Th this is a request to review, so, yeah. And it's, you know, first Halloween special since, well, uh, Scaredy Pants. But, uh, let's get Don't Look Now out of the way. It starts off with Spongebob and Patrick at the movies, and they are going to see this movie. And, well, they're like, we're not scared, and Squidward is easily, can scare them easily with Boo. And then they go into the movie theater room, which is all dark. Um, the lights are on in the auditorium before the movie starts. But I digress. And they use like one of those rock bottom fish, which they shouldn't be in bikini bottom. And then they're in the front row and they can't shout. They're always screaming. And the movie they're watching is basically if you took the episode Hooks and mixed it with Jaws. And they do get the cliches like kids getting harmed by it and that stupid boyfriend who's going out with a girl, and they can't watch it, oh my god, oh my god! And they, they like, see it two or three times, I can't remember, and then they watch, and Spongebob and Patrick watch it in its entirety, and then when they're going home, they're starting to rip off, oh, what is it, Nightlight, and the fact that, oh my god, there's something in the dark, ah! When you're starting to rip off Nightlight, you know, one of the worst episodes, yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. So then Squidward is really bugged by this and tells him to shut up and, you know, they tell him basically the same thing they did in Nightlight. And, but then Squidward hatches a plan. Hmm. He checks his closet and finds a sailor's outfit and dresses up as a sailor with a hook to scare both of them. And it really works and it's pretty funny. It's like, this is payback for all the shit you've done to me since 05, you two bastards. But then it goes a little too far when Squidward, he laughs so hard that he's like, comes out of the costume that, he's eating Squidward! No, it's not. That's that's really get what him his head slightly popping out of the costume gives you the impression that he's being eaten. Then if that's the case, then my shirt, my Batman shirt right here, must be eating me. So yeah, they beat Squidward up, and he gets sent to the hospital. It's about time, and then all of a sudden the coat's alive. They scream, and apparently it's Gary in there. End episode. Oh, see and shmeance, where do I begin? Well, at the beginning. Squidward is watching this cheesy show with some woman bringing back ghosts. And uh, the person, another person, the ghosts argue about who should replace the toilet paper. That's disgusting. And Squidward was like, this is so cheesy, would be afraid of this. And, you know, you know who's afraid of that. 
And then this old man asked for, for like, uh, it was like a ribeye, ribeye on rye or something on rye. I could care less what it is. And SpongeBob has no idea what the hell it is. And the guy, the old man is holding up the line. And Mr. Krabs is like, get out of here, old man. And Squidward's like, you, you made an unsatisfied customer. And SpongeBob cries about it. SpongeBob, this has happened before. Really. You know what? No, no, no. It's new SpongeBob. Why? It, I should come to expect this sort of bullshit. So... Spongebob asked him what the old man was asking for, and apparently, um, uh, the, uh, excuse me, the Krusty Krab, uh, was built over a, another restaurant owned by this guy named Rusty Ricketts, who made that one that was the number nine. It was like the Rusty on Rye, yeah, Rusty on Rye. Which, okay, okay, this brings up continuity issues. As if the new writers hadn't screwed up continuity with the show already. The Krusty Krab, it was first, it was a bankrupted retirement home that Mr. Krabs bought, and then, and then it was like, used to be a ship that Mr. Krabs had, and it's been a restaurant, which was built over a restaurant, and Spongebob's like, we're gonna meet Rusty Ricketts, and he's dead. So he contacts the dead the same way that cheesy TV thing did. Except instead of an orb, he uses a bubble and gets uh, the fat-ass the fat, the fat -ass idiot to help him. You know who that is. I shouldn't have to explain that to you. And they summon Rusty Ricketts, who speaks in all gibberish. It, which is not that funny. I sure didn't laugh anyway. But, so, Rusty shows Spongebob how to make a Rusty on Rye. You take two blocks of wood, you add white stuff, which I can assume is semen, and add shellac on it. You know, shellac, which gives stuff like a rusty sort of look that should never be consumed, ever. Yeah, that's how you make it. And apparently the smell of it summons other ghosts somehow i mean they say they were attracted by the smell of the rusty on rye but mm, kind of stretching it so then they you know oh they eat and spongebob tells them to leave and uh one of them pukes on him and then there's a ghostbusters reference patrick runs out and well before that patrick ran out to try to get mr krabs Spongebob has to deal with the ghosts, and he, okay, here's another problem. Like, when Spongebob first meets Rusty Ricketts, and he hands him a notepad and pencil, goes through his hand, indicating that he cannot hold anything because he is a ghost. He cannot grab onto anything. But then these other ghosts, they can grab onto stuff just fine. That, that, that doesn't make sense. Really, it makes even less sense when someone's trying to fight a ghost and they can't touch it, but the ghost can touch you. It, it's it's stupider than that. I I would go so far as to say it's stupider than that. So then, Patrick gets Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs sees that Spongebob had summoned ghosts, and he knocks them all back into the bubble orb. Even the one even wax them in the wrong direction, they go into the orb. Like, let's say the orb is over here. He wax it that way. It somehow miraculously, I don't know, pulls a boomerang thing and goes into there. I mean, the first one, yeah. But other ones, why? And then he pops the bubble, tells SpongeBob, you shouldn't do this. And then the next day, SpongeBob gives the old man a rusty on rye. And that's it. So, overall, are these two episodes even worth any time to watch, and sit down and watch and enjoy? Absolutely not. These things are boring. They, 
they are crappy Halloween specials. I mean, my god, it's worse than it's a Spongebob Christmas, which some people have defended that, and people have attacked me on that, which is kind of part of the re- other than trolls was the reason why I also disabled comments on my first um, top 10 worst Spongebob countdown, and people have found me and said, how could you? It's a Spongebob Christmas. It was awesome. I thought it sucked. These, these are worse. These are just lame. It's like the writers said, uh, we give up! Because they do! They did give up. They just... It's like when you're bored and you put zero effort into anything. There was zero effort put into any of these episodes. I almost fell asleep watching these. I, I'm serious. I almost fell asleep. They were so boring. So, and also for spoiler alert, um, you might see this in the third edition of the worst SpongeBob episodes. Which, uh, yeah, I expect that in, like, spring. There's other episodes that people say, hey, you should put on that list, which I do have intentions on. So, yeah, that is my review of the latest SpongeBob SquarePants Halloween specials. They're, they are not rated S for scare your SquarePants off. They are rated S for stupid because they absolutely suck dick. So, yeah, not see him. Double thumbs down. Bye for now.